Ladies and gentlemen, this is Baraban, also known as Robertson, and I am continuing with my series, Escape from the Deep Dark. Now, when I last left off, I was digging my way down to see if I could find the roof of the cavern ceiling, and it looks very much as though I have found it. So, before I carry on and go further down, I'm just going to go back up here, back up to my crafting bench, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some drying racks, because as I mentioned earlier, I will need these to create monster jerky from the zombie flesh. I've also made a chest in the meantime, I will need one of these for storing my stuff in. This will be my one and only chest, so I better try and make as much use of it as I possibly can. And the stone shards, I don't think I need those, I might just end up chucking those away at some point. So, let's have a look and see what we can see. Now, I'm pretty sure that they're only two blocks thick, so if I knock through this, we should be through to the cavern. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at this! I see what looks like a castle. This is the first time I have actually seen one of these in the deep dark, or been so close to one. Right, now that's going to make things a lot easier for me, because I won't have so far down to actually go in order to get to this place. Right, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to cover this back up again, and I'm going to keep on tunneling my way this way, so I can get as close to that pillar as I possibly can, and then I'm going to try and see if I can just work my way down. Because one of the things I discovered as well, whilst we were off camera, was that using this cobblestone, I can actually make these stone tool rods. So I didn't actually have to make them using the the tool pattern. I could have just used two cobblestone on top of each other. But the other handy thing about these is that if you have enough of them, you can actually make stone ladders. How handy is that? So even though we don't have wood, we've got stone ladders which I can use to go down that pillar and hopefully get to the top of that castle with and see what's inside. So, what I'll do now is I'll quickly pause this and edit it out, and I shall start recording again when I'm nearer the top of the castle, and I will see you guys then. Right, everyone, we are back, and I am right next to the pillar that leads all the way down to the castle. So, what I'll do now is I will very, very gingerly step onto it, and slowly will make my way down. I think I can see somebody there already. So, I'll try and see if I can lay down these ladders as I start going down. Okay, and again, being very, very careful because of the darkness down there. What I want to do is probably try and see if I can um, put a torch down somewhere nearby, if possible, just to keep it lit. In the meantime, I need more ladders. That skeleton down there is just waiting for me. He says, I can see you, Baraban, and I'm going to shoot this arrow straight up your... Yeah. So let's not let that happen. Let's try and be smart and get him before he gets me. Or at least before he puts too many arrows into me, otherwise I'll end up looking like Boromir from Lord of the Rings. Now, if I very, very slowly go down here, but use the cobblestone here, like that, then, as I go further down, I can put a torch like that. Hey, smart thinking. Oh, I'm running out of ladders. Okay. Just while I've got more, as I can go. Yeah, I see you. some more, then I'll come back. 
And again, guys, just to make things uh, smoother for you lot, I'll stop recording here and I'll put it back on once something happens and hopefully when I get down to the bottom. Right, guys, we're back and I'm almost at the bottom of this pillar now. The skeleton seems to have wandered off, so that's good. Just need a couple more ladders placed. And that should be us. Perfect. I'm just going to light this place up a bit more. Right. I've taken a big risk. I've actually collected the part builder, stencil table and tool station and I've taken them with me. So what I'll do is I'll make this place here my makeshift base. table down here as well. And we've got plenty of torches so we'll just make sure this place is relatively well lit. Stop anything from spawning. I can some hear some weird noises going on down there so what do we have? Zombies. That's actually okay, they're a type of food source for me now. And a slime. Right. Let's kill this thing first. Looks like a monster spawner. It is. Thalmium axe, coal, stencil. Hey, let's take all of it. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'll take this chest with me as well. is that I can actually take this chest away. And have twice the storage space. Perfect. I can even stick the broken spawner inside it as well. Excellent. Right, let's just stick all this inside. I don't need this anymore. Gelatinous slime. And you can eat it as well. Brilliant. Right, store that too. For some reason, the music has gotten louder. So bear with me for two seconds. That's better. Right, okay, I'll need to put these drying racks up, so... Perfect. Right, so we now have our makeshift base set up down here, which is in a much, much better tactical position than the, the original starting place was. That looks like a goblin, or at least Minecraft's version of it, I think. And you can hear all sorts of bad things making noises beneath me, so hey, that's why I've got this. Teach them a lesson. Keep them away from my newly established base and take all their loot. So. Time to make good of my promise and uh, bring the fight to the enemy. Now, I just realised when I came down here initially, this looks like wood. Is it wood? It is. Oh, that's going to be useful. Right, I don't have any more torches. I might grab one from over here then. Or from the abundance of them I have up here. I only need one for every two, I think. I 
saw somebody down there. Now, can I very cleverly break through this wall and get them this way? I'll take that, thank you very much. Colored stone bricks, eh? Okay. Oh, and that's a dead end. Wonderful. I was going to say this place was like a maze, but mazes have a point. This place doesn't. Now, how did they get in here? I'm just going to sweep this floor, make sure everything's clear before I continue. Okay. And it's another dead end. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like everything's beneath me. Something tells me this is going to be fun in games, trying to work my way down through all these levels. It sounds like the further down I go, the more abundant the enemies become, so I'm going to need to prepare myself a little bit better, I think. Right, where's my tool station? There we go. Just repair my my sword. The axe is fine. And I've got some coloured wood planks now. That's handy. So my initial fear of not having enough wood has kind of been resolved in a way because we found this castle and there's also stone and wood so excellent means we've got stuff to build from now the goblins don't seem to be bothering me so they could be neutral creatures so I won't fight them unless they start fighting me but for everything else I think I'm gonna kill them first and ask questions later I have no idea how far down this castle goes, but I guess we will find out next time, guys, because if my timer is correct, that's us at the end of this episode. Well, if you like what you saw, and you'd like to see more, and hopefully watch me not die horribly, then like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.